paste. Okay. I'm sorry that you couldn't hear me talking there, guys. What I was saying was, I got a new headset today. It tries to connect to the microphone on the headset, but I don't use that microphone. I don't know how to get out of here. What I was saying is, this is Fallout 4 Episode 2, Leaving the Vault. In today's episode of Fallout 4 Episode 2, we're going we're gonna be leaving the Vault 111. Vault 111 was an experimental vault made by Vault Tech before the nuclear war broke out in the Fallout universe. This vault was one of many experimental vaults played by made by made by Voltech. The experiment of this vault was they were going to cryogenically freeze all of the residents of, of Vault 111 so that they could wake up a hundred years later and they could explore the nuclear wasteland of Fallout 4 Episode 2, Leaving the Vault. In Fallout 4 Episode 2, Leaving the Vault, we're going to be leaving Vault 111. Vault 111 was created by Vault Tech security staff in accordance to the Vault program which Vault Tech had created in preparance for the nuclear war of the Fallout universe. The experiment of Vault 111 was to cryogenically freeze all of the people in Vault 111 so that they could wake up later. Vault 111 is a lot like Vault 101. In Vault, in Vault 101, the they the experiment the experiment of the vault was that they would not let anybody into the vault. They would not let anybody into the vault for like a hundred or so years, but the people would stay unfrozen. But in Vault 111. People are are frozen, so they're kind of like a different. They're kind of like two sides of the same coin. And if you'll remember from our playthrough of Fallout Three, Episode Four, leaving Vault One Hundred One. Vault One Hundred One was the vault that was in Fallout Three, Episode Four, leaving Vault One Hundred One. Which is kind of like Fallout 4 Episode 2, le Leaving the Vault. This here is a Pip-Boy. The Pip-Boy was created by Vault Tech. Vault Tech are like a science, and they made the vaults. Like, one of the vaults they made was Vault 111. And another one of the vaults that they made was Vault 101. You might remember, but Vault 111 is actually the vault that we are in now. And Vault 111's experiment was to cryogenically freeze its inhabitants for a hundred years and see how they would adapt to post-apocalyptic life. This is one of the most emotional points in the Dark Souls series. When you finally open up Vault 111 and you see the door rolling and you see the light come in from the wasteland, you might remember it's very similar to the scene in Fallout 3 Episode 4 Leaving Vault 101, where the same thing happens. That right there is what we call Breaking Bad. It's like that one episode of Breaking Bad, where the fly was stuck in the vault. The fly had to leave the vault, but unlike us, it was killed by Walter White and Jesse Pinkman. Here we are. We are about to fall out for episode 2, Leaving the Vault. Are you guys excited? Drop a like and comment down below and and subscribe to the channel if you like my content and also there is a patreon 
and uh, and we are sponsored and we are sponsored by audio books we're sponsored by those audiobooks has a new shaving kit that it just released for twenty dollars you can shave yourself with the audiobooks shaving kit just apply code fallout for episode two at the at the checkout and you will get up to two dollars off your purchase we have now exited vault 111 we are currently in massachusetts as you recall massachusetts was the main setting of the of of love of the lovecraftian mythos because herbert Fa herbert west who wrote the lovecraft mythos lived in massachusetts and 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 as such there are a lot of for there are a lot of What you're hearing now is a rendition of the melody used in I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire by the people who sang I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire, which you might remember from Fallout 3, Episode 4, we did it. leaving Vault 101. And for what? Everything's dead. Everything's we are currently talking to Mr. Gutsy. Who you'll remember is a character that we met in the previous game, Fallout 3 Episode 4, Leaving Vault 101, in the parking lot of the Robco building. Mr. Gutsy was our companion for most of that playthrough. Uh, got a serious malfunction, robot. This is... This uh, uh, He... Unfortunately, he did perish to the Enclave. In the Enclave, as you'll remember, are the United States government. He was clearly rebuilt and assigned to clean up Sanctuary, Massachusetts. Sanctuary, Massachusetts. He Two hundred years? What? Are you? A bit over two hundred and ten, actually, Mum. It'll take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Mum. Mm -hmm. Or maybe evil leprechaun. The evil leprechauns. And it's referenced in that dialogue option by Fallout 4 Episode 2 is a reference to the leprechauns that steal pants and the leprechauns that steal pants in South Park.
you're all by yourself. <laughs> you want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Dub. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. You guys aren't supposed to. No, you guys aren't supposed to. Wait a second. You guys aren't. Wait, I don't know what's going 